Okay, um, we're joined by head women's basketball coach Danielle Santos Atkinson. Following today's game against Towson, uh, coach, would you just open up with a statement on today? Yeah, a lot of positives from our game today. Um, a lot of stuff that we've been working on, they were able to to convert and apply in the game today. We knew that transition was that, that Towson was a great transition team, and we did a great job of, of, of trying to hold them in transition. Uh, they do a great they do a great job. Now, did they get transition points? Yes, but I think we it was an we had an awareness of of what was happening and, and forced them to play a lot of possessions in the half court. Uh, I think we got off to a slow start in the beginning, but this, we played a great second half. Uh, this team fought; they never gave up. Uh, we shot the ball real, especially in the second half. Uh, and we did a great job. So we, it's a great uh, rebounding team. Uh, we held them to, to five offensive rebounds in that first half. They got a few more in the second half than, than I would have liked them to have, but only six second chance points off of those off of those rebounds. And so we did a great job. We limited our turnovers, which was another emphasis for us going into this game. Uh, and, and I think we got another uh, a great opportunity tomorrow to be able to come out here and have growth and have some success. Thanks, Coach. And again, if you have questions for Coach, please use the raise hand feature and I will call on you. Uh, first, Tim, go ahead. Hey, Coach, Tim Crowley, WRHU. So you held the conference's top offense today well below, uh, below their scoring average for the season, also to their lowest field goal percentage of the season. What needs to continue there tomorrow to flip another close game in your favor? Uh, our, 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 our team did a great job uh, in our zone defense of really forcing tough shots. Uh, I think the other thing we did is, is we held them for a long time uh, off of the off the boards. And so they get a lot of opportunities when in transition and they get a lot of second chance opportunities. And I think we limited both of those uh, today. We also did a great job of shooting of shooting the ball. And so when we're able to shoot the ball, they, they had a lot of transition, uh, a lot of transition possessions that they were having to take out of the net. And when they're having to do that, that makes it more difficult for them uh, to be able to run in transition. Although they make they run on makes and misses, uh, we did have those extra seconds because uh, and them taking the ball out to get back. And so, I think tomorrow we've got to continue to do a great job in, in transition, and we've got to continue to do a good job in our zone uh, and looking to tweak here and there how we can uh, change our zone, uh, as well as changing defenses uh, for our game tomorrow to try and keep them on their heels. Go ahead, Max. Hi, Coach Max Sacco, WRHU. Heading into tomorrow, what's maybe you talked about tweaking maybe an area or two. Could you go in maybe a little bit more about an area you want to tweak ahead of tomorrow with less than 24 hours before you tip off again against the Tigers? Yeah, they, there were some possessions in our zone and some areas of our zone that they were really able to attack. Uh, we've got to clean those up. Uh, the, those areas resulted in a lot of points and those areas resulted uh, in, in points or fouls and allowed them to get to the free throw line. I think tomorrow we also have to make sure we, we keep them off the free throw line. We don't wanna give them any free points. And so uh, different areas of our zone that I think we're, we're gonna have to tweak as well as some other defenses that we're prepared to play uh, as well. Offensively, we wanna to continue to run. There's still a lot of offenses that we feel will be effective against their defense. And so we have those available to us to run tomorrow as well. Jack. Hi, Coach. Jack McCarthy, WRHU. Uh, you gave Val Valcourt her third start of the season today. What went into that decision? Yeah, so uh, Rosie, who, who normally starts with us, uh, was was out for a, a concussion. She was out with a concussion for a while, and, and Val has come in and stepped up and has played huge minutes for us. Um, and so she, she got that starting role for herself when Rosie went out, and she's done a great job contributing to our team. Mm. Any other questions for Coach? Max? Uh, coach, you speak about Rosie and Val. They're probably the two, one of the two most tenacious players I think we see night in and night out when we watch this team. How important is it to have for your team somebody like that who game in, game out, whether it's back-to-back -back or not, is just that energetic for this team and getting ready for a game tomorrow? It's great. Uh, both of those guys have, have embraced that role of bringing the energy to our team uh, and they do that really well uh, Val uh, she's always bringing us energy whether it's on the floor or off the floor and Rosie does a great job of bringing us energy with her defense she's got a defensive presence that that makes it tough on opponents uh, and both of them do a great job of bringing that and they're both consistent with it uh, as you mentioned uh, every time we step out on that floor any more questions for coach Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Have a nice night.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.